Martinez gave his all for rugby. He played every game with lots of enthusiasm, commitment. He was a, a pure rugby man. He really loved the game. Martinez was a darling of Milan's. He made the crowd come alive. I remember seeing this number 12 centre, you know, making mincemeat of, of guys on the other side of the field. He was a special player. The passing of Tinnis Lanier is a great loss to the South African sporting fraternity. An uncompromising centre, Lanier was a favourite amongst fans of Western Province who appreciated the player's courageous approach to the game. Lanier was born in Pal in 1969 and was schooled alongside future Springbok teammate Chester Williams at Niederberg Primary School. He started his Western Province career in 1992 and would go on to win three Curry Cup trophies during his career in the blue and white hoops. My 17 has got selected for the Springbok team in 1993 to tour to Australia when we were overjoyed because, you know, it's the first time that um, South Africa is touring again. And yeah, we have been selected as the only black player at the time to go and play with for South Africa in Australia. What a wonderful time. He toured with the Springboks, and even though he never won a test cap, Lanier played in nine tour games with his final game in the green and gold coming against Pontypriff in Wales in 1994. He hung up his boots in 2001, having represented Western Province 112 times. In April 2013, he was diagnosed with motor neuron disease. He battled the disease for 18 months, finally succumbing on Monday morning. He is survived by his wife Diana and their three children. Tributes have poured in from around the rugby world for Lanier. I really enjoyed playing with him and I really enjoyed knowing him. On the field he was this hard player to play against. And, you know, he had a very funny side to him. He was an absolute pillar of a guy on and off the field and um, he'll be sorely missed. Servant, great warrior. I'm very fortunate to actually to share a room with him. So, uh, yeah, I've got some fond memories. Tinas Lini, he's had a wonderful game in defence. He's a great warrior, uh, unbelievable, unbelievable competitive player and a fierce defender. So, uh, it's really a sad day for us and uh, you know, our thoughts and our prayers are with his family and uh, really think about them in these difficult times. Lanier was a son of Paul, a son of Newlands and a son of South Africa. His legacy will live on for future generations from all backgrounds who aspire to wear not only the blue and white of Western Province, but the green and gold of the Springboks. It's a, it's a sadder day because he's not with us anymore, but hopefully the fight that he showed and the passion that he had for life will always be remembered and he'll be a bright, a bright spark for the people he came across. We all have huge respect for him. Um, you know, as I say, he was a great rugby player, but he was even a better sort of mentor for a lot of us. And, uh, you know, he, he helped groom you know, a lot of good, you know, young centres in this province. Lini running strongly to through the midfield. This is good running by the centre. May the legacy of Tinas Lanier live long. He made a big difference to all the people in Paul specifically, especially Paul East where he grew up. And um, you know, may all the boys, little boys that grow up in that area, you know, aim and aspire to be a Tinas Lanier. Tinas lived his life um, till the day that he died, that people could look up to him and still people can talk. I want to be like Tinas Lanier. I will always remember him for being one of the stalwarts of uh, South African rugby, especially by community. I like to remember him personally as my school friend forever because that was our most memorable moments together. Tinez was a very special friend to me, but I think you can call him my brother, you know, because Tinez was this calm, collective, but aggressive person uh, when it comes to the game itself and focused. Um, and that's how I'd like Tinez to be remembered for what he has done for uh, the Western Province and South Africa.